What is happening, guys? Welcome back. Pokemon Stadium 2, part 20. Let's say we're already at part 20. And uh, last time we took down the uh, Petite Cup with all the cute Pokemon and nothing evolved. This time we're taking on the Pika Cup. This is a different kind of thing. Even though it's a level level Pokemon, there are evolved Pokemon allowed. Let's take a look at the rules really quickly here. And with six Pokemon, just three out of six Pokemon, the levels are 15 to 20. Maximum three level Pokemon team is only 50, which means that you can only have a 20 and two level 15s. Uh, you've got uh, no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. You can attend, get to continue to do perfect match, and no self destruct move with the last Pokemon. So, uh,. It doesn't really say the restrictions there, but there are definitely restrictions to this. Obviously, you can't use Dragonite because you can't get Dragonite at level 20. You can't get Dragonair at level 20 either. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick out this team right quizzy here. I've made a team up for this particular one. Obviously, there's going to be some reused names. We kind of have to do it, but uh, oh well. We've got Geller Sr. there. We've got Derry Jr. here. He's going to be entering. Then we got Sexy up in here. Sexy looking good with those moves. Uh, we got Solomon Jr. as well. He's going to be kicking it. We brought in Bruce just to handle some things here. We'll see how Bruce does. He's looking pretty good. And then we got Misty up in here as well. So that's going to be that. So we are definitely okay to register. And uh, let's do this. Like the Petite Cup, this is going to be a one tournament. That means it's just eight guys, and then we're out of here. There's no four rounds crap that they had in the other ones. So, uh, yeah. We'll try and get everybody in here. As you can see, I I have to use uh, some level 16s here, and then 18 is my highest level. Not 20, because you have to be 16 in order to get Nitto Queen, and you got to be at least 16 in order to get Geller Sr. So that's how that's going. Anyway, uh, it says he can't learn Recover, but that is definitely not true. You can definitely learn that through breeding. So, cool. And uh, obviously that Kakuna is down and out already. This should not take long. This is going to be one of the easiest ones. Again, this is more of like a joke tournament. Just to kind of try and test, you know, what you're doing. But uh, it's fun to have nicknames and have your cool Pokemon in here and just destroying random people. So yeah, there's just nothing that's going to be able to survive that Psychic. Yeah, in Pokemon Stadium 2, there's really more of a reason to have this low-level tournament. In Pokemon Stadium 1, there's really not that much. It's really more about having the TMs and having, you know, just being able to do that. But, uh, oh well. Whatever, I'm not going to complain. At least there's something more to do in this game, and that's that's always fun. So Butterfree able to survive there. And that thing is definitely not going to hit the stun swarm. If you also notice here, I only have Psychic as my attack on this fucking guy. But luckily there's nothing that resists Psychic, so I am good to go. And I can just Psychic Blast everything. So Geller Sr. fucking raping this bracket. You know, you can't really ex expect much from a bug catcher though, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that guy too much crap. It's his fault for being the first trainer. Fortunately, a lot of Pimahoku are going to have fucking similar attacks, but there's not really much you can do here. It's still an incredible team. Anyway, this guy's going to lead with Ivysaur. And as you can see, it is level 16, because it has to be level 16. I do have the lovely kiss here. Uh, that was just baseline uh, when I caught it in Blue Kaizo. Because remember, all these Pokemon are from Blue Kaizo, so it's kind of cheating, but <laughs> I, I don't see myself using Lovely Kiss at any point. It's just another attack to have. But, uh, hey, it's from Blue Kaizo, so it's fair, right? Yes. That's the game that I be. I, I deserve to have these overpowered Pokemon attacks after beating Blue Kaizo with Nuzlocke difficulty. That's, that's 
I'm still looking for another completed Nuzlocke Blue Kaizo on YouTube, and I've yet to find one. So if you find one, let me know, and I'll go check it out and see if that guy's as good as me. Because, uh, you know, I've seen, you know, Blue Kaizos completed, but not Nuzlocke. Not Nuzlocke, so that's, that's, I gotta give myself props on that one. And Leo Dude is not gonna be able to survive that. You have to remember, too, this is round one, so this is gonna be extremely easy. I do hate just rolling over the competition in these games because I like to keep my channel as a hard mode game, but it is it's the first round. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit easier than the next round. So just just keep that keep that in mind when you think about things. So here we go, we got Misty. It's leading with the war turtle. And uh, I recover too. Anyway, let's just T-bolt that thing. That was an incredible looking attack from Starmie. And uh, that turtle, 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 war turtle is down. I don't even know what I'm saying off the time. It's okay though, it works. Poor Slowpoke. It has no idea what's going on right now. It's just chilling out here. It doesn't even look like it gets hurt, and then it's just like, ouch. Poor Slowpoke. I feel so bad when I see Slowpoke get hit. It just looks so depressing. Anyway, its last Pokemon is Staryu. This should be good. Misty is level 18, so he's got three levels and an evolution on this thing. So we're just rolling through this. I figured this was going to be the easiest one of all. So I might end up doing this first in round two to leave all the hard stuff for last. Anyway, this guy's got some fire types. Again, we'll try and get everybody some screen time here. So there's Solomon Jr. He's going to chillax it out here. Like always, he's going to have surf. And uh, he'll be able to just surf over this entire team. It looks like a good lead for this guy, but he's just going to jump on his tail and ride that wave. So there is Drowsy. There's not much... I don't have anything super effective since there's nothing good against Psyche except for Bug, so... Where's the Solomon Jr. T-bolt that thing? It should live. It is level 17. Oh yeah, it's definitely that's gonna be a solid two-hit KO. Oh my goodness, why? God! Every time a trainer has an access to a sleep move, it uses it right away. I just don't get it. Don't get me wrong, sleep is incredibly overpowered, but oh boy, it's so frustrating. Anyway, there's Derry Jr. He's going to take that confusion like a boss. Derry Jr., my other level 18. Got a similar move pool there. I don't have the double edge. I do have the body slam. I, uh, I didn't have any more TMs for, for double edge since I obviously wasted the one on, you know, Derry Sr., so that's 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 how this guy's gonna go. 
I mean, its last Pokemon is Nine Tails. So that's pretty cool. Luckily, we do have the dig. So we are going to dig underground. I think he's going to try and body slam us. That is just not going to happen. And this should do it. A huge amount of damage. Four nine tails. Such a beautiful Pokemon. Quite a few tails. And a perfect win. And we're already halfway through this thing. And we're not even at eleven minutes. Well, we will be in a few seconds, but still. Alright, we'll give our last Pokemon that we haven't really seen yet a chance to hit things up. We'll get Bruce out here. He's going to lead with Porygon. That's a beautiful lead for me. Because Bruce definitely cannot learn high jump kick yet, but he actually has it, so get pooped on fucking other guy. And that's going to do a huge amount of damage. And then Porygon just breaks into pieces and is completely destroyed. It was level 18, too. This next Pokemon is Kingler. This could prove to be difficult. Luckily, I have High Jump Kick. Let's see if it works. Oh, that didn't even kill it. What the hell? You suck, Hitmonlee. Uh, here comes the body slam. Oh, and I get paralyzed. That is that is definitely d devastating. I'd... I like Kingler's attack, how it like turns to its side and then like rushes at you. That's that's funny. And we get a critical hit that time. That obviously did not matter. last Pokemon is Mankey. I don't know if that thing will be able to take. It's going to go for Karate Chop. That is not a fighting move. It does score a critical, but I'm going to be okay. This might take it out. With a critical, it definitely will take it out. And just like that, Bruce, even though he got paralyzed there, he's still able to do it. You get the joke, Bruce. Hit on Lee, Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty clever. It's okay. I know. And just like we're already at the quarter final in this friggin' Pika Cup. This guy looks a little bit harder. We'll see what happens. We're gonna keep it strong though with Bruce. I felt like Bruce. He got a little slowed down there with the paralyzation. I think he needs another chance here to show what he can do. So, uh, here we go. That thing's leading with Seedra. I'm leading with Bruce. Hit that thing with a high jump kick to the face. It is going to live it. And here comes a Surf. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 geez. Jesus. Jesus, Bruce. Get your shit together, son. Taking half your health. Go for a body slam. Guaranteed hit. That should bring it down. Only 14 HP. Come on. What will the next Pokemon be? It's going to be Rhyhorn. And holy shit, that thing is level 20. Type difference may affect the battle. We'll see. Uh, High Jump Kick will be super effective, but... Rhyhorn has a buttload of defense, and it's obviously going to be able to live that. And here comes the Earthquake. That's going to do a huge amount of damage. And Bruce is down. So never mind, Bruce. You fucking suck. Get out of here, bro. You, you, you're awful. Go away.
We've got Nitto Queen, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be faster. So we will hit that thing with an Earthquake. That'll obviously bring it down. Even though it has good defense, it will not be able to live it at that particular HP. So that's good for us. We lost our perfect streak there, but whatever. I mean, I've already kind of said that I don't really care about this fucking cup. But you gotta do it to progress in the game, so we're gonna do it. That's how we roll here. At Zuri99. Anyway, let's Earthquake the shit out of this. And that's gonna do hopefully half. Oh, that definitely does more than half, so that is freaking great. But it puts up a reflect here. So it might be able to live that, so in just in case, I am going to go for the blizzard. And that definitely brings down Wiggly Tough. Or in this case, Higgly Tough. And uh, semi-final coming up right now. It's a lass. Holy shit, look at that team. Look at that team. Shit just got real. Shit is getting real up in this. As you can hear the music changing a little bit. Well, that's a great lead for me. It leads with Gyarados. Level 20, oh shit, and I'm leading with Solomon. And uh, it's just going to stay in, and that's going to do it for Gyarados. I was actually going to use Gyarados, but of course Gyarados has to be level 20, and that's going to mean that I couldn't use other Pokemon. Anyway, here comes an Arcanine at level 15. So we're definitely going to ride that surf. And we get a critical hit. That Arcanine not going to be able to take that. This guy's only got, or this chick has only got one Pokemon left. And it is Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime always looks so happy. Let's just hit that thing with a body slam. That's going to deal a huge amount of damage. Does about half. Oh shit, here comes the Psychic. My special is down. So I was going to go for Thunderbolt this turn, but now that my special is down, I'm definitely not going to do that. And we're just going to go for the Body Slam. And it does, in fact, bring it down. And uh, only one battle left. But if that guy, had a, that guy had a pretty good, t or this chick had a pretty good team, like I'm expecting the last guy to be incredible. So let's see what it is. Oh Jesus, it's a fisherman. Oh my goodness, look at that team. How does he have a Dragonair? That's what I want to know. Anyways, he's, he's, and he's using the same strategy I'm using with the uh, level 18s and the level 16s, so that is pretty interesting. We will see how this goes in a moment. Let's do it. So it's going to lead with Slowbro. Now I'm leading with Geller Sr. here. Slowbro... Same level as me, so it's pretty even. We'll hit that thing with a Psychic. Although it's not very effective, I do get the special drop, and that's good. It's going to counter with its own Psychic, and after the special drop, that does a laughable amount of damage of three. Remember, Geller Sr. has one of the highest specials in the game. In fact, it's only 
The only Pokemon that has a higher special than Geller Sr. is Mewtwo. So unfortunately, we get a special tie here. And I have lost special power, so that is not good. It will take it out on this turn regardless. But for the next Pokemon, that may be a problem. Next Pokemon is Clefable. I'm just going to keep going for Psychics here, and we'll see how that goes. Because I think it's going to work. I think it works. We do grab another Special Fall. And oh shit. And with a critical hit, well... It didn't do that much. It probably would have done more had it not critical because I did get a special drop on myself, but it also got a special drop on itself, so its damage is down. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Anyway, Clefable is down again, and Geller Sr. is looking like a boss right now. Its last Pokemon is Dragonair, so here we go. Shit is about to get real. We're going to go for the T-Wave here because I don't want this thing to somehow sweep me. Oh, shit! Holy tits! Dragon Rage! Okay, well, it's a good thing I fucking paralyzed that thing. Holy shit. Everyone can take two of those, but... Oh man, that is just not good. Solomon doesn't have a super effective move against this guy. In fact, all he's got is Body Slam. So I'm going to have to go for the Body Slam here. So we hit that thing with a Body Slam. That's obviously going to be able to take that. And luckily, it's fully paralyzed, so uh, Geller Sr. living on in spirit there with the Paralyze. We will continue to body slam this thing. That scares the hell out of me, though, that this thing has Dragon Rage. How can they allow Dragon Rage in a tournament where there's low-level Pokemon? That is so broken. But there's another 40 damage. But it's not going to matter. It will go down on this turn. And let's finish it off with some Lightning. And Dragonair goes down. And uh, there you go. So I'm glad that the last trainer was actually the hardest. That's always good. And that does it for the Pika Cup. Take a look at all our cool Pokemon. Got Gather Senior. There's Misty. She was in like one battle. And then there's there's Solomon Jr. Kicking it. Oh shit, there's Derry Jr. And then there's there's sexy. So sexy. And then Bruce. Bruce, what the fuck, bro? You keep dying every time. I you need to get your shit together, bro. Anyway, there's a generic trophy for the Pika Cup. Looks very cool. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, if you'll notice, sky gets dark. And next time, we'll be taking on Verse Mewtwo. The ultimate Pokemon Mewtwo lies in wait. Can your Pokemon defeat this fearsome Pokemon? That's a lot of Pokemon. Anyway, see you guys next time.